Okay, so are you guys ready for it? The 1804 Spike Chin Half Cent that we paid three cents for, graded at NGC. What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Business and welcome to another coin topic video today. I had no plans on making this video. It's another very late night here at the office. I was about to head home, just finishing up a couple last things for the day. Going through the mail, guess what? Our package from NGC has arrived back to us, certified, graded. Quickly summarizing, if you guys didn't see last video, basically we bought this huge uh, collection from a retiring coin dealer full of like uh, a lot of foreign coins, hundreds of pounds worth of foreign coins, just generic stuff, so we thought. Literally, there are extremely rare coins somehow mixed in with this foreign. And uh, one of those coins we came across was an 1804 half cent from the United States. It's not foreign, so I don't know what it was doing in there, but we happened to find it while going through it. We paid like three cents for it, by the way. At the time, it was obviously non-graded. It was just sitting there loose, and we realized it was in absolutely immaculate condition. Very, very good condition. For being over 215 years old, the coin was remarkable. Very hard to find them like that. So we said it was definitely worthy of going out to a third party service like PCGS or NGC to be authenticated and to be graded so that the resale process becomes much easier. Now I outlined that video. Uh, I talked about this app that I, I like to reference and I showed you guys, it's called PhotoGrade. You get to compare photos of your coin with photos that PCGS puts out there of actual graded coins. So you get to kind of line it up and see where it falls on the scale from one to 70. 70 being perfect. There's no MS70 half cent out there. So that's nearly impossible. Normally they're in the other end of the spectrum in poor one, fair two, you know, very low grade but this one was far different. I estimated, based on my grading skills, which yes, you know, not to hide myself up, but they are pretty extensive, you know, years in the industry doing this all my life, you know, I'm able to pick up on altered coins, clean coins, damaged coins, and, and I'd say grade pretty well. You know, I, I think I was top in my grading class at the ANA summer seminars out of like 40 people. We did a test when I was like, 13 or 14 years old and I was number one. I won that competition. So I put my uh, assessment on the coin that it would fall in the about uncirculated category. There was a little bit of wear on the high points, just a little bit, uh, which would indicate that it probably wouldn't be uncirculated. And the coin did have nice luster, great eye appeal, beautiful original coin. And I said that graders like originality. They can appreciate a coin like this that they don't see every day. And they'll give you the benefit of the doubt and sometimes bump you up a grade or two. So I would, I, I pegged it out like an AU53. That's my consensus at the end of the video. And I said, we may get lucky and squeak like a 55 out of 70 out of it. Maybe a 58, best case scenario. And uh, that's where I left it. And then we looked up the value of that coin and we estimated based on auction records, which I'll show you in just a second how to work those, uh, that it would be worth uh, $900 is what AUs tend to sell for. So paid three, four cents for it and uh, it's worth about a thousand bucks. So that was the shocking video that I posted you know, a few days ago for you guys. But this video may be even more shocking. So here's some uh, other coins I submitted with them. These are pretty neat coins. If you guys know what these are, they're called GSA, Carson City Silver Dollars. They were actually sold by the GSA, the government. Basically, they realized they had thousands of uh, Carson City silver dollars laying in uh, sacks that weren't used in the treasury, sitting there collecting dust. You know, these coins were made in the 1800s, and what is that, 80 years later, they're like, hmm, shoot, we should probably do something with these, especially now that we're not on the silver standard anymore, gold standard. So the government decided to put them in nice little packages like this. They're all uncirculated. They're beautiful coins, just been sitting they decided to sell them for $15 a coin. Actually, some were like five, 10, but these ones were about $15 per coin back in the 60s. Uh, so they, sold, they sold fairly well, and they were a cool little collectible item that you could buy back in the day. And now they're worth a lot more. They're worth about $200 in average condition, common dates, but there are certain dates worth tens of thousands of dollars just for the date. And then there are certain coins, common dates that are in really high condition. Remember we were talking about condition? If you get something that's approaching a 70 out of 70 perfect, again, a 70 has never been done before on a Morgan dollar, basically impossible. There are some MS 69s though, but I've seen GSAs like this and I think the highest I saw was an MS 68 out of 70 holder, which is mind blowing. But anyway, these coins I bought as generic coins for about $200 a piece. 
And when I was going through them, I noticed some were in very good condition. Common grades on these would be like 61, 62, 63 out of 70. Those are the common grades. They're uncirculated, they're at least 60 because the uncirculated window is 60 to 70 points. So they would be on the lower end, 60, 61, you know, like that. But these I realized were much nicer. And sure enough, we got them back from grading. Check that one out. Right on top, you can't see, I'll put in a clip. MS65 out of 70, just five points off being a perfect coin. And MS65 is when they really start to jump in value. Uh, so that's cool. And then we got a couple actually that have really neat toning. Here's a four. I got a couple fours. They didn't quite hit that five level. Uh, this one's pretty neat. It has some beautiful rainbow toning on it. They graded it a MS62 star. When they put the star designation, that's because it has a beautiful eye appeal, or in most cases, a beautiful toning color, you know, rainbow tone, which on Morgan dollars are pretty common, but they definitely command a big premium, especially on GSAs. It's a great way to double your money if you know what you're doing, and that's why grading is so valuable. So one last thing before we get to the other one. Here's the box of coins. Here's a quarter that's worth $10,000. Maybe that's a video in and of itself. Um, it's an extremely rare quarter. The first quarter ever made in America. It's worth five figures, so that's kind of cool. Here's, once again, another Morgan dollar. This isn't a GSA, it's not a CC, it's not in one of those big capsules. It's a 19030. What's crazy about this one is, yeah, look at that condition. It's great in MS62. Guess what? I bought this in a coin shop in Montana. I walked in, he says, oh yeah, I just bought this today. Uh, you know, you wanna buy it? And I'm like, Mm, sure, what do you want for it? He goes, well, I think it's in about XF condition. XF is either 40 or 45 points out of 70. So like a mid-grade coin. He thought it was an XF. I'm looking at it, I saw from 20 feet away, I could see that all that luster and know it was uncirculated. So I'm like, okay, like what do you want for it? And he gave it to me at XF price, and then I sent it in to NGC, and here it grades an MS62. Crazy, so you can pick off deals like this from people who don't know how to grade as well. You know, if you take the time, it is a, it is a very difficult skill to learn. I mean, it takes a lot of trial by error. You're going to buy coins that have been altered and cleaned, and you know, it's damaged or repaired that you have no idea. You could see a clean coin and go, oh my gosh, that looks great, it's all bright and shiny. Well, sometimes you don't want bright and shiny, you know, maybe the has been wiped off and there's hairline scratches just all these things it that mm, that is a hour-long video the introduction to coin grading it is no easy feat but if you do pull it off and do spend years studying it um, you can pick off great deals like this or you could go work for NGC or PCGS and earn hundreds of thousands of dollars per year the star of the show I know that was a long intro but you guys have asked for more coin content and this video I just wanted to lay a bunch on you because you guys are interested in this and the next few videos are all about stocks holy guacamole if we aren't making enough money in coins talk about the stock market tesla stock all these ev stocks i've been trading some options and um we're making just a stupid amount of money on them so those videos are coming next so what i thought would grade an au53 sometimes you're wrong sometimes they grade worse than you think and sometimes they grade better than you think okay so are you guys ready for it the 1804 spike chin half cent that we paid three cents for graded at ngc MS62. Honestly, I probably think it should have been an AU, maybe an AU58. AU58 and 62 are very similar grades. It's a borderline slider grade that they call it. Some days, literally the mood of the grader, we're all human. This isn't like a robot detecting the grade. It's a human out there, you know, checking out the coin that goes through two or three graders and they pick a grade. If you get them on a bad day, they may call it a 58. If you get them on a good day, it could be a 62. It's one of those grades, the slider grade, it can, it can go either way sometimes. So, in my opinion, it was going the way of a 58 at most, and here uh, it, it, it went the way of a 62. So they definitely appreciated the coin's originality. Like I said, the color, I mean, this is as good as it gets. The color is perfect. There is no corrosion on this coin, no ugly spotting. If the graders knew that I pulled this out of a sack of coins with 2,000 coins in it that's been shaking around, <laughs> You know, uh, they may not have given it a 62, but they don't know that. What's it worth? I know you guys are wondering. Let's look it up. And here is another great tip for you guys. How do you pull up those auction records? What company do you go to to see exactly what things go for? This is what we do. There's a few different uh, sites that you can use. You could, of course, do eBay completed listings. That's always good, but oftentimes eBay doesn't have these like really rare coins. So what you wanna do is go to Heritage Auctions. That is ha.com. This is the biggest auction house for coins in the world. And they don't just do coins. They do sports cards and everything. Guys, sports cards have been going nuts lately. 
all these entrepreneur guys praising them, Gary V, Dan Fleischman, all these guys investing in uh, rare basketball, baseball cards like that is pretty interesting to see. So it's a similar thing with, with card grading. You know, it's on a scale of I think up to 10. So like a PSA 9 or a PSA 9.5 or a 10, you know, a perfect 10 would be equivalent to a 70 in the coin world. So it's the same concept, guys. I'm pretty sure PCGS owns PSA or maybe it's NGC. You know, th these are a partner company with the coin graders. So it's all the same thing, guys. Just like diamonds, you know, it's, it's the same thing. You're, you're rating quality so that resale is easier. Okay, 1804. Okay, completed listings. Here we go. They have 24 sales and this is great. It's completely free. You guys can like set up an account. No, they're not sponsoring me. This is just something I use every single day. We'll quickly sign in real quick so we can see what they went for. Here's the first coin, very similar. Spike Chin, 1804-62. That one sold for 1620. And then the next recent sell, look at this. 2640. Is that? That's a big difference. That's a thousand dollar price difference. Now, of course, the exact variety, the Cohen variety would play into this. I'm not, a, I would have to look into ours more to see what it is, but I think it's one of these common ones. It must be a Cohen six, which uh, right here it says R2. I know all this stuff sounds foreign to you guys. I appreciate you wanting to learn. Um, I'm happy to teach you guys, but this all looks like random codes, right? So the R2 right here actually designates the rarity of the variety, Cohen six. So the R scale goes up to, I believe, eight. And when it's an eight, it's almost unknown. There's like one to three known, I think. So this being an R2, it's actually very common. So I'm pretty sure I have uh, this variety. So it's nothing special in the variety world, but it is a spike chin, which makes it cool. As I explained last video, there's literally a spike coming out of Lady Liberty's chin. Very, very weird, but that's what makes this variety kind of interesting and collectible. So this one sold for 2640. Here we go, another two, and this sold for 1880. That's a very good comparable auction record as well. Uh, once again, a PCGS selling for 2,500. That's got some more luster coming through, so a little nicer coin once again. On average, if we average the two and consider that I can sometimes get even more than Heritage, uh, I think we can get about two thousand dollars for this coin we paid three cents like what in the world <laughs> why am i orange okay that's better that's where i'm at guys this this all just happened 30 minutes ago i cracked open the package saw this and i'm like i gotta whip out the camera and share this with you guys we did cover a lot in this episode for starters now you guys know when you have a rare coin that you want to get authenticated and graded it is a good idea to send it off to pcgs or ngc they are both the leading companies we tend to submit coins value like 300 dollars or more because you got to keep in mind it costs between 20 and say $70 depending on what level and speed you're doing with the grading so that it costs something so you don't want to grade a $10 coin you know you'll be losing money after you grade it so we learned about that and then we learned about auction records I would highly suggest you guys checking out heritage auctions going to their completed listings just going through them you they go all the way back to the 1990s so there are hundreds of thousands of different, uh, you know, sources of uh, auction data in there. So that's a great uh, resource. And also Stax Bowers, you can go to their completed section. It's not as user friendly, I would say, but they have completed listings that you can look at. And then of course, eBay completed sold listings, go to sold listings, do not search active eBay listings. That's important in the flip game because anyone can ask anything for an active listing. You have to go to completed listings and know what's sold at what prices to really know the current market value of an item. And then uh, the last but not least, we learned about the varieties. Uh, that is a whole separate video that, that gets into very, very advanced coin variety attribution. Like I said, some certain varieties can be worth an outrageous amount of money. There, there's coins where, you know, if it was a common variety of that date, it would be worth uh, $50 and if it's the ultra rare R7 or R8 variety, it could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Those, that's a whole new world of being able to pick off rare varieties of certain dates and uh, make a lot of money cherry picking things that way. That's that, I'll stop talking, I gotta leave, it's really late. Thank you guys for watching, drop, oh, 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 oh! The winner, the winner of the free one ounce silver. I forgot last video, if you guys liked and commented on that video, I'm gonna pick a random winner for a one ounce silver bar. So let's go ahead and do that now. Random comment generator, da 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 da. Winner is, ta-da! Whoever that is, <laughs> please message me, Instagram, email, uh, to collect your prize. We'll ship that off to you, no problem. Congratulations. And let's do another one for this video. All right, we're on a roll. Let's keep this up, free silver bar per video. So I'll pick somebody who drops a like and a comment 
yeah, like in the comments and you'll be automatically entered. We'll pick another random winner next coin video. So stay tuned. Silver is going crazy too. So that bar is actually worth a lot more than it was, you know, a few months ago. So, all right, all right, all right, we're done. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. You made it till the end. Really appreciate it. And I hope you learned something about coins and maybe I sparked a little interest in you and uh, maybe you guys will be excited for more coin videos. I hope so. Let me know in the comments. Take care.